Today on the Uniweb Interview Show, I am joined by a planet X, Jupiter Heart X. Yeah. Hi, thank you so much for joining me. That rhymed. Uh, my name. <laughs> I'm here on the right side. Hey, man, I really appreciate you coming on the show today. How's it going? Good, good. I, I'm ready to rock and roll here. So. Fantastic. So we'll be talking today about uh, your novel that you're writing yeah. um silver brown yeah silver brown and this is this is something you told me you're writing it serially so basically you're yeah, yeah, yeah. live yeah yeah it's, it's sort of coming out it's sort of coming you know bits and pieces i'm sort of publishing it like two chapters at a time or something like that so and i sort of do it in in, in accordance with the uh with the with the seasons so in accordance with the seasons. so like right now it's spring so, so, so. Uh, it's it's spring, so I recently published two chapters, and you know, and you know, after the solstice, I will publish two more. So, awesome. So let's talk about it. What is Silver Brown about? Well, it's sort of like a Brave New World sort of thing, where it was, which deals with like you know, technology run amok. It's it's sort of like you know, the world as we presently know it has ceased to exist, and you know, it's sort of like a sci-fi, you know, uh, Brave New World kind of thing, you know. I, yeah. I sort of conceive. I, I could, well, my old professional ex, uh, background as a web developer has sort of contributed to it. You know, uh, it, I sort of started it as an, as an art therapy project. Uh, one second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, for about twelve years, uh, I used to work for an architect in Toronto. Her name was Elias Gal Galia Kirkland. Uh, she made headlines. Um, a few years ago, when she stabbed a guy, oh, uh, and and we work in her apartment building, and yeah, nice. that's but, exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She she stabbed this guy. She just went insane, stabbed this guy. But you know, her insanity was going, you know, was building up up to that point for a few different many years. So it's like you know, I sort of started Silver Brown. It's an art therapy project. So. Okay, <laughs> so it's been a, it's been a, in work for yeah, a couple. Yeah, of years. yeah, it's well, you know, it was kind of a you know, if you don't mind me saying, fucked up situation. So, I don't mind. Yeah, it is a fucked up situation. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, totally. and, and having to be a part of it, I guess, was probably pretty traumatic. Being around the the situation. Yeah, well, you know, the thing is, you know, well, you know, th the reason why Ellis made headlines when she stabbed the guy is because uh, she, up until she was arrested, she was the one of the vice presidents for the NATO Association of Canada, which mm. is like the NATO Information Office here in Canada. Uh, pretty much every uh, pretty much every NATO uh, member state has an information office, and I, I actually used to work for the one in Canada. So, uh -huh. so it's like yeah, for for you know a long, long time ago, it was like ten years ago, but you know, I did it at one point. So you know. Wow. So, yeah, that, that's, so I actually used to rub shoulders with, you know, uh, military types. You know. The big wigs? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, girls, you know, that, that, was, that, was pretty, that was pretty incredible. You know. It was pretty incredible well, that I had experience, but, you know, the downside is that Ellis went and soon stabbed a guy, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the downside. Is the guy okay? Yeah, yeah that, that's to that was totally the downside, at least. Yeah, totally downside, man. I I I would not want to be stabbed, um, <laughs> like at all. No. So, no, no. Well, so no. was was this like uh, when you were writing Silver Brown? Were you drawing inspiration from the people you were working with? Uh, yeah, yeah, NATO. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, not not necessarily. It was sort of like you know, it's sort of like a soup of you know different sources of inspiration. So. Sure. Yeah, you know, Ellis Ellis was a considerable in inspiration on the plot but you know it's not <laughs> yeah, <terrible. laughs> yeah. Well, so we, we know we know exactly what happens in this story yeah. some lady goes crazy and stabs a guy well you know it sort of you know deals with with insanity and in sort of a larger context because you know i okay she has used to have a colleague who actually totally went insane and you know well i think i think he was like you know uh, I, a few a few people had mental problems in that whole office. It's like you know, it's, it's like I, I had one guy who was like clean sober for like fifteen years, and two months, two weeks working with Ellis, he went back right back to drinking. And like oh, wow. you know, I'm talking like you know, hard hard ass drinking, like like yeah, you know, the nail polish and shit. You know. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's pretty hardcore, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, uh, there that's must have been hard. a lot of there must have been a lot of pressure 
in that job. Yeah, yeah. Oh hell yeah! So it's like it's like you know it's this little pressure cooker. It's like you know. Yeah. Like, you so, know. so with Silver Brown, how how far into the book are you? You've been writing it for a couple I've of years now. I've sort I've sort of published the first thirteen chapters. Uh, they're available on the website. Uh, mm-hmm. The website is x jupiterheart dot net. It's not it's dot net dot dot com. Right. Yeah, yeah, I, I, went, I, I sort of went with dot net because you know just because you know i just like the look of dot net better so you know even though dot com is more memorable to the public i sort of went with something different so. dot net what or net was uh there was a movie with sandra bullock in it a long time ago yeah, called the net, time called, ago. The net. It's called the net yeah, it sort of played on you know sort of like the the fears of going on at the time that at that time of you know of over you know how connected we were, but you know, we don't have those fears anymore because of Facebook and shit. That's right. Yeah. No more fears on the web. No, no, Are no, no, you, no. why did you decide to publish this live on your website as opposed to uh, writing I, the whole I, thing? I, 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 well, you know, it's, it's sort of like a work in progress. It's sort of oozing out of me very slowly. Like, you know, I, I sort of, you know, I, I, I've been sort of like working on it as a literary concept for, you know, at least a couple of years, you know, Sure. But, uh, I'm sort of, but I'm sort of re- rewriting in the rebirth. Uh, I sort of been the sort. Of, I mean, because you know, some of the concepts behind it are very, very complex. So, it's like, you know, I've been sort of. I mean, it's it's, it's sort of like a sci-fi sort of thing. Like, you know, so, like when George Lucas, you know, developed Star Wars, he he did some like you know, he read some like fifty different books on religion, and you know, and this, he sort of developed Star Wars from that. So, you know, th- this yeah. is sort. of this is sort of like a similar concept for me. It was, it sort of developed a whole mythology onto its own. I have a very overactive imagination, so yeah, that's good. I, I kind of need an outlet for that. So, sure, as a writer, that's uh, that's yeah. good. <laughs> if you were doing people's taxes, it wouldn't be as necessary. Oh uh, yeah, no, no. Um, so that's good that you have a good imagination. So, are you kind of are you kind of using this as a format of? like having beta readers almost like you have people like live yeah, feedback yeah. on what you're writing yeah, yeah. so you I, can make well, you know, I've, I've sent it to several people i know and they sort of give me feedback uh, uh, my sister who has a great deal of uh, uh expertise in writing and editing uh, she actually gave me a very few pointers and i appreciate her for that yeah 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 uh but you know a lot, a lot of the people i you know Sent, sent this to me you know they, they all think it's great you know this is great they sort of give me feedback you know i sort of, i sort of send it you know to people i know sort of beta readers before you know before it goes live so yeah. But, yeah so can we go into some of what the actual concepts are that you're talking about in the in the story yeah. well it's it's sort of like you know it's it's a world where you know the world as we presently know it has ceased to exist and has been replaced by, with an artificial fact simply which has been constructed by a race of extraterrestrials who are constructed this reality out of their own nightmares. Wow. Yeah. How the hell do they well, do that? <laughs> well, it's, it's sort of like an ectoplasmic uh, process, which is, you know, it's, it's sort of like, you know, blending of the physical and mental. It's like, you don't know what's, ah. what's, really, what's really a dream and what's, what's reality or anything like that. You know, it's, yeah. it's a it's a very mind bending work, you know. I mean, that, okay. that's, that's the whole that's the whole thing. That's the whole concept I was going for. So. Uh, I was I was sort of like you know, it's kind of like the Matrix, it's sort of in, in sort of the sense that it sort of it kind of you know, it's, it's, it, it all happens sense. inside it, people's it, minds. It, yeah, yeah, it's, it makes you think, and and yeah, it's it's it's, it's sort of like that. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have, so is this all just kind of coming to you as you write? I mean, or do you have an idea how it's going to end? Do you have any? Yeah, yeah. well, I have an idea. I've been toying with a number of concepts about how it's going to end. Well, but, you know, I mean, Stephen King sort of said that, you know, he never, he starts a bike, he starts a book having no clue how it's going to end. He he just sort of goes with the concept and then sort of works from there. And, you know, he sort of comes... And it just sort of comes to him, and you know, it, it, he's just sort of, you know, he just sort of writes it, and you know, it just comes to him. You know. So, that's, so a, that's, that's that's the same method you take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the same method I take. I would say so. Okay. Have you always been a writer, or is this the first project no, you've no, actually started long, writing, like long form? Well, I did sort of like a couple of failed projects uh, prior to this, but you know, 
uh, well, but you know, a lot, a lot of the concepts in this current work have been recycled from at least one pre previous project that I okay. worked on, which I never got around to finishing because I felt it was not worth it. Uh, you know, that happens when you're a writer. It does happen. Absolutely. Hey, I've, hey. I've had projects where I thought I'm not excited about it anymore. Yeah. Move so, on to something I'm more excited yeah. about. Well, you know, the first thing I tried to do is like, you know, a space offer in, 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 in poetic form. I like, I wanted to do something like, you know, the rhyme of the ancient Mariner by Samuel Taylor Coleridge, only more fucked up. But, you know, <laughs> but, you know I, that, that, that never got off the ground. So, you know, I tried rewriting the whole thing in prose and, you know, and the story still sucked. So I scrapped that shit and yeah. started, started coming off this, you know, new concept where, you know, where the whole world is controlled by computers and, you know, there's like, you know, fuck, um, it's, it's like organic computers or some shit. Well, they're organic computers in the story. It's like, yeah. You know, yeah, in the story you're writing now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, it's 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 so there computer. were computers born of the the, the place. Yeah, yeah, the, the computer, computers were born out of out of the juices of the extraterrestrials that started the whole environment. You know, nice, <laughs> some good old alien juice. It's, yeah, we got alien juice making computers, <laughs> and that's kind of what happened to us, right? Yeah, we are organic computers. Yeah. In a way. Well, yeah. You know, we, well, well, computers are like an extension of ourselves, you know. Yeah. I mean, I think I figure, you know, the whole, you know, I think I think we're actually animals, and the computers are like, you know, the the, the contraptions that we send out urine stains out to the world, like like we're everywhere. It's like you now. If, like they're trying to send a message out into the world, so it's like you know, computers are like you know the thing that we use to ur urinate, urinate all over the, all over the planet. You mean so leave our mark? Yeah, well, we leave our mark there. We we just you know we're like dogs, and these are our, these are our urinary tools. You know, hmm. it's an interesting concept. <laughs> yeah, Do you have a lot of dogs? We're, 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 we're just animals. I mean, we're, that's that's what we are. I think so. We are, yeah. I mean, in a we, we were, I mean, from a purely a scientific concept, we're, we are very much so part of the animal kingdom. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, we are more than this physical we form. Should, I and, think. I think we. Should, I think we should acknowledge our animal uh, nature because you know. Just. I think just some because, of us. You know, I think some just, of us do acknowledge it more than others. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, well, we're, at the end of the day, we're just a bunch of monkeys throwing shit at each other, you know. I, <laughs> I, mean, haven't, thrown, I haven't thrown poop at anybody recently. When was the, who's the last person you threw shit at? Oh, well, you know, well, I I think you know we we still throw poop shit at each other. We just throw bigger and more technologically advanced shit, you know. Yeah, that uh, like nuclear warheads and whatnot. Yeah, hell, hell yeah, you know, I mean, those those are the shit. Those are the blocks of shit that we throw at throw at other other kind of other tribes, other other troops, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you actually watch nature videos, and it's like you know, it, you you totally understand where human nature comes from. It's like you know, there's like you know two two groups well, of monkeys. About, territorial, about, yeah, predatory, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> So is that, I mean, when, when it comes to you and your creative process, are you sitting at home watching the uh, Nature Channel and oh, yeah. <laughs> thinking well, about this well, stuff and well, writing down, well, writing down well, ideas? I watch, I watch a lot of nature channels and, 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 you know, I find it very fascinating. It's like, you know, well, first of all, you know, if you're writing it like a science fiction sort of thing, you know, the insect world provides a great deal of inspiration for aliens. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. It's totally, it's like, it's like the way know. they're shaped and built, the head, yeah, the head, the, head formations and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Multiple hearts and shit. You know, it's just like, you know, it looks like a fly has like 10 hearts. What do your, what do your aliens look like? Uh, you know, they're sort of like slug, it, slug, like, well, I actually have a picture of it on, on my website is like, uh, it's x dash Jupiter net. Uh, that actually shows the slug, the extraterrestrial slug like creature and, and it's all it's, Horrifying glory. I was actually going to do a whole medical diagram, but I decided to, you know, nix that idea because uh, I didn't want to, like, you know, 
traumatize the kids too much. So, because it can be gross. Yeah, it can totally be gross, man. It's, it's yeah. like you know. So, well, I sort of, I sort of leave, left, save the best shit for the for the actual book. You know, Stephen King used to describe you know freakishly horrible creatures in in very loving details, and so I'm sort of taking the same approach instead of using pictures. Yeah. You know, you know, is that how is, you is that what your is that your favorite form like writing more of a um horrific sci-fi type yeah type yeah genre? yeah that's, 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 that's more my, my, my deal okay yeah so in terms of inspirations besides stephen king where would you say you draw your inspiration from for writing uh well yeah uh, from, variety, from a variety of sources so, yeah I, I sort of absorb a lot of things and you know you know uh, star wars is like you know the Bible to me. So uh, most of my personal philosophy is based on Yoda's teachings. So. On George Lucas's teachings? Yeah, on Yoda's teachings, man. Yoda's like, teachings. You know, Yoda, man. It's like, you know, yeah. Yeah. What would you say your favorite teaching of Yoda is? I sure. Do or do not. There is, <laughs> there is no try. That's right. Is, That's what I, I was thinking the same thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you know, I, I, had, I had to think about that question for, uh, for like, you know, a very pregnant three seconds because, you know, there are so many great teachings of Yoda. Yeah, there is. Hey, hey, what's, the, what's the other one that says? Fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Do you have fear in your heart? Next uh, to your heart? Yeah. Well, you know, I tr- I'm trying to get away from all Get away from all that because uh, all the crazy shit that I dealt with with you know Ellis, you know, you know yeah, I, I, I'm sort of you know trying to move past the fear, you know, past the fear. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's, one of the things about starting a vlog is like it's it's like standing naked before the world, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's 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 like you know you're 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 it's like you're nude before the and you're just like standing naked before the world. It's like you know everybody can see into your soul. It's like, are you comfortable with your body? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm totally comfortable with my, my body. I, I look at my body and it's like, you know, holy shit. It's like, you know. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Yeah. yeah. Proud of yourself? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing good, so. Yeah. Good. So what's next on the docket for X Jupiter Heart? What, I know you're, you're working on this novel continuously, yeah. correct? Yeah. Are you working on any other projects outside of this? Uh, not at the present time. I sort of like to stay with one project, you know, at a time, you know, I think this might be like, you know, a, a sort of a to, to a mockingbird or to kill a mark mockingbird sort of thing, you know, mm-hmm. where, you know, it, it's, it's just one book, but it, you know, it's the most phenomenal book there is. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, high praise. Like, it's, yeah, yeah. it's good that you think that. Well, um, I, 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 I sort of angle. I'm, if I might feel like writing, I might write Mark. I'm just I'm just oozing this this creature out of myself at the moment. So, well, that's what I was going to ask. Do you have like a in in terms of a, a completion date? Are you are you well, looking? You know, well, I'm sort of you know taking it one step at a time because you know tr- trying to trying to finish the whole. It's it's like you know the George R. R. Martin the song into Ice and Fire. You know, it's like you know, yeah. You can he, he, he finishes it whenever he wants. So, so. yeah, yeah. The people will be waiting. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Do you, do you have a pretty well, good follow-up? If there's, well, if, if there's extra demand on me, on my time to finish it every day, you know, then, you know, right now I'm not well, having, that. Having the story live like you do, do you have a good following thus far? Um, uh, how, long have, the, how long has it been up for? Well, it's only been up since uh, October of last year. Uh, and, you know, I was sort of, you know, I'm at a small following, you know. It's not much, but it's, it's, it's a start, you know. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. I mean, you gotta find the readers, right? Yeah, yeah. As, as writers, we gotta find the readers. Are you doing anything else to uh, promote the story besides just put it on on the website? Are you are you on social media? Are you uh, communicating? Yeah, 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 I, have, I have I have a Facebook page and a Twitter page, and uh, both both of these have links on the website. Okay, where people can find you? Yeah, yeah. Do you post do you post links to the work when you when it comes uh, yes, out? Yes, uh, yes, I do. And in fact, I've been doing this whole thing where I post a page from this from the from the uh, one page from the book every day uh, for a whole chapter. 
Oh wow. Oh yeah. Okay. On on either Facebook or Twitter. So yeah. Cool. So, yeah. So like, what what do you think the in terms of the writing process? What's been the most difficult thing for you in writing? Uh. Well, sometimes I get you know writer's block, and I sort of need to put it aside for a bit, and you know, and sort of get get my groove back because you know it's it's just kind of like. That. But you know, once I come back to it, then then I'm just on fire, you know. It's like you know, it's like you yeah. know, sort of you know, I, well, it sort of goes in spurts. That's why I, that's why I decided to you know publish it in a serial format. You know, that kind of you know suits my writing style a bit better. So. Yeah. 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 And what has been what what do you what's your favorite part? The thing that comes to you most naturally in terms of writing? Like well, yeah. writing scenes or characters or Oh well, yeah. Writing the characters I would say would be the most natural part. You know, I've met quite a few characters in my day and you know Yeah. That's you know, that comes that comes across my writing like this. So and you know, the, the way these characters interact with each other is like you know, all all shit I've lived before. So Is is Silver Brown is the name of the character? Is that right? Uh, no, it's it's sort of like you know, a name of a top secret project uh, dreamt up okay. by some. You know, What's but, the name of the main character? Uh, Florence McNabb. Florence. Floris. 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 It rhymes with Morris, but it's Floris. McNabb. Yeah, Floris McNabb. Uh, so that name sort of came to me while I was you know taking interesting medication, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, it's illegal here in Canada, so it's like, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hey, man, we all come to we all come to things on our in our own ways, you know. However, you get there, as long as you get there, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, anything that brings joy into the universe is is a good thing to me. So. Yeah. yeah. Is that is that one of the things you hope to do? Is bring joy to the universe with this well, writing? Uh, bring bring joy to the universe is 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 one of the things. One of my objectives in writing but you know i think first and foremost i do it as to bring joy to myself you know if, if yeah. you bring, if you can bring joy to yourself then you can bring joy to the universe yeah i agree with that are you a thousand years from now what do you think people will remember about you well I'll see you know I, well a thousand years from now i'll be i'll be worm chow and you know but you know yeah, but there there are people who've been remembered for oh, thousands yeah, of years. I, I would, uh, well, you know, I like to think my karmic ripple in the universe will probably not last that long. But you know, if it does, I don't know. I, I what would say, they what would they what would they remember? What what are some characteristics about you, X, that are memorable to people? I don't know, man. That's that's, that's fun. So it's like you know, uh, well, it's, it's like you know the whole Mex there's a whole Mexican saying is, which goes that you know every man dies three deaths. First, the first death occurs when he dies, and the second death occurs when you know all the relatives have paid their final respects. And then there's the third death, which occurs, you know, two two many much longer after the first two deaths, which is you know when there's no more no nobody left alive left to remember him. So right. it's like yeah. You know, so, so, so his karma and his karmic ripple sort of, you know, disappears in the universe, you know, and and that's it. You know. But as writers, we're putting things down for people to remember us by, whether we like it or not. It's it's putting it's well, down either in the ether, on the internet, or on paper. When people when people pick up Silver Brown, are they going to think X Jupiter Hearts one weird effing dude? Or are they going to think, uh, wow, this guy has? They're they're going to think that. You know Definitely. they're gonna think that shit. Okay. Are they also gonna think this? I think this guy predicted the future. Oh uh, fuck yeah! Oh probably yeah. Uh, yeah. Most likely. Well, you know, well, I I think today's sci-fi is tomorrow's technology. So, I mean, uh, the, the whole smart fe smart speakers. I mean, that's something right out of Star Trek. So. Yeah. You know, Let me uh, ask you. I'll, I'll, this is the last question I'll ask you here. Okay. Right. Um. Is there any technology that you've created in the book Silver Brown that is unique or to to you personally and that you think is uh potentially coming in the future? Wow, that's that's a very deep question. But yeah. I think you know the replacing of reality with, you know, artificial like you know, 
it's like the air we breathe, you know, the clothes we wear, everything. You know, it's like, you know, like I have this whole concept where the where everybody has a computer in their brain. You know, I think, you know, neuro tablets will probably happen for real. It's like, you know, it's, instead it's like of we're computer, overclocking our brains, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, you know, like, you know, the, one of the concepts I have in the book is like everybody has a computer in their brain. Yeah, so, and, and they can like contact people without ever like, you know, and it, they can like have and on the on these computers they can like launch programs where they uh, they can create any kind of environment they want you know for for any any conversational purpose like you know so you know I have my main character uh, converse with you know uh, another person in in like you know a, co a corporate you know Titan sort of you know office type of situation just to you know just just to sort of get the message that you know she thinks that you know. He's, the guy she's talking to is like a lower form of life than him. So, so, yeah. and so, it's, it's, so it's like, you know, so it's like, you know, it's, it's just, you know, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's like emojis only on, only on a more frightening level, you know? I mean, I think that's, that's probably, that's probably going to come. Okay. It's, it's, it's like, you know, it's, so it's like, you know, this, this is just like, you know, another, another tool to just prove that people are better than everybody else and all this other shit. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like I said, we're just a bunch of monkeys throwing shit at each other. So, well, uh -huh. X Jupiter, this was interesting. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Well, it, was, it was very interesting for myself, likewise. So. Awesome. I do appreciate you taking the time to talk with me about uh, Silver Brown, a novel which can be found on x jupiterheartnet Yes, that's correct. Which is also online. That is on a part of the internet. Um, yeah. So make sure you go, you guys go check that out, and follow you on Twitter and Facebook. What's your Twitter handle? Do you know, do you know? Uh, my Twitter handle is x underscore Jupiter Hearts. Uh, the Facebook handle is the same, except without the underscore. Okay. Next under I, I would put the underscore in the Facebook handle, except they don't allow that. So, you know, so gotcha. I just had to go. Well, I'll put links in the description of the video below. Right. Um, right. X Jupiter, thank you so right. much for joining the Uniweb interview show. All right. Thank you. Have a great day, man. Thank All you. All right. Yeah. I will see you later. So. Bye.